the next step in the project is to look at the coil winding and the number of coils we will be placing in the gaps on the right side of the hub and the left side of the hub. Looking at the coils, we important when we come to winding them we really need to mark where the start of the coil is and where the end of the coil is. In this case all the end wires come far outside the coil so we know the end wiring and the start coils, the start of the coil is in the centre. We need to identify the start and the end of each coil and keep them in the same alignment. Looking at the diagram we are using, three phase configuration, four way rectification, we're using 12 coils. S is for the start of coil winding, E is for the end of coil winding. If you have a look, we've numbered the coils 1 to 12. The last three in that series coils 10, 11 and 12, the end wiring are connected and that's the centre of our star. Gives us three legs, we go coil 11, three down from that is coil 8, another three down is coil 5, another three is coil 2. You'll notice the start goes to an end, to a start, to an end. Similarly, coil 10 goes to coil 7, to coil 4, to coil 1 and coil 12 to 9 to 6 to 3. We get our start for each of those coils and they come down into our full wave rectification. We're using six diodes rather than a bridge. Uh, that way in the next step we'll be using oscilloscopes of multimeters to show exactly what is coming off each leg of the windings and what's happening in the bridge rectifier. Similarly, on the wheel side of the hub, we're going to have 15 coils. We number them 1 to 15. Again, coil 13, 14, 15. The end of the windings are joined. as the centre of our star. And then it's a matter of three coils down in each leg, keeping track of the start and the end of the windings. And we'll be having the same bridge rectifier connected to it. Keeping in mind both these three phase stators are sharing the same axle and will be rotating in the same phase either side of the main hub so that we'll be connecting them up to get more DC voltage out of a low RPM wind generator. Just to consolidate where we're getting the parts the first, our corporation supplies the uh, wheel hub, auto parts around the world. NeoSID is the rare earth permanent magnets. The OBA-IC is for the magnet wire. And JCAR for the electronic catalogue. It's about 500 pages.